Hi there, Mike MacArthur from the Oshkosh Public Library, here and ready for some more Librarian Learns. Home edition. This is the series where I take a look at some local Oshkosh history that either I've wondered about myself or someone has asked me about while working at the library. Today, we're gonna to take a look at the Wisconsin National Life Insurance Company. Now, the history of a life insurance company might sound like kind of a snooze fest, but there is some interesting history behind the founding of this company, the people involved, and frankly, the building that it used to occupy on Washington Avenue. So, in the early 20th century, as Oshkosh continued to grow, uh, a lot of local leaders and businessmen were looking to diversify the economy. In 1908, a group of businessmen, led by George Payne of the Payne Lumber Company, founded the Wisconsin National Life Insurance Company. This was only the second life insurance company uh, founded in Wisconsin. George Payne served as its first president. Salesman Oscar Lichtenberg sold the first insurance policy to a George Nevitt, who happened to be the grandson of George Payne. George Payne served as his president until 1916 when he retired, and he actually passed away the following year. He was replaced by the company's vice president, a man named Charles Ruggles Boardman. Charles Boardman was born in the town of Empire in Fond du Lac County in 1860. His wife, Mary Louise Talmadge, was the daughter of Nathaniel P. Talmadge, who was a state sen uh, senator from New York and served as the third territorial governor of Wisconsin. Boardman enlisted in the National Guard in 1880, and he had a number of jobs and ran a number of businesses in Oshkosh, including uh, he was a reporter for the Northwestern, he founded the Globe Printing Company, as well as serving as director of the Hicks Printing Company. In 1897, Charles Borman is appointed adjunct general of the Wisconsin National Guard. He is more or less credited with preparing the National Guard for their involvement in the Spanish-American War in 1898. He actually gave a keynote speech at the founding of the Hikers Monument honoring those veterans. He also served in World War I as a Brigadier General of the 32nd American Expeditionary Force uh, that was deployed in France. He resigned from the military in 1918. General Boardman served as president of the Wisconsin National Life Insurance Company until 1946, where he was replaced by his son, Robert P. Boardman. General Boardman died in April of 1950 and was buried with military honors in Riverside Cemetery. Now let's take a look at their Washington Avenue building. So the Wisconsin National Life uh, Insurance Company, founded in 1908, had numerous offices along Main Street, but in 1927, they broke ground on what would be their permanent residence on Washington Avenue. Designed by the architectural firm of Aller, Jensen, and Brown, and built by the Floor Brothers, the building opened March 17, 1927. Built in the neoclassical Greek style, the impressive structure features an elaborate terracotta frieze consisting of griffins, scrolls, and lion heads. The ornate Corinthian capitals topping the exterior columns represent the most decorative of the three classical Greek architectural styles. The building joined the National Register of Historic Places in 1982. Now let's take a look inside. Some of the most unique features of the building are actually inside, which are not generally accessible to the average person. But a few years ago, I produced a, a short video taking a look at these unique features that still exist within uh, the National Life Insurance building. Let's take a look. The interior of the Wisconsin National Life Building has undergone several major remodeling projects over the years. Most notably in 1957 to add additional office space and in 1986, which nearly doubled the original space. Today, it is a modern office building and is mostly closed to the public. However, several signs of the original interior clearly remain. One of these is a vault built by the Mosler Safe Company of Hamilton, Ohio. As one of the premier safe and vault manufacturers of the late 19th and early 20th centuries, the Mosler Safe Company supplied such facilities as Fort Knox, the Federal Reserve Banks, and Cold War fallout shelters throughout the United States. 
Most famously, a Mosler safe installed in 1925 in the Teikoku Bank of Hiroshima, Japan, survived the atomic bomb. The original main entrance and lobby are intact and now function as an employee break room. The plastered ceiling, designed to appear coffered with intricate rosette patterns, is still in excellent condition, as is an ornate 13.5 by 5.5 foot bronze grill. Installed in 1952, the grill was designed and crafted by artist Carl Weiland of Cologne, Germany. Created to symbolize life, the elaborate bronze work features a tree of life guarded by griffins, symbolizing cultural development, signs of the zodiac, and symbols representing the arts, sciences, agriculture, crafts, and industry. So, by 1991, the Wisconsin National Life Insurance was still going strong with over $3 billion in insurance and agents in 48 states. Kind of at the height of its success, it actually sold in 1993 and the offices in Oshkosh uh, were closed. Since 1996, the building has been occupied by the Winnebago County Department of Human Services. All right, so in case you're wondering where we are, here I am on the corner of Court and Washington Avenue. If you can see the uh, Wisconsin, old Wisconsin National Life Building right behind me. Uh, down, you can see right down Washington Avenue. Uh, what I really dig about this view is that it hasn't really changed that much in about a century. You know, all the buildings on this street, particularly on the north side of the street here, are very well maintained. I have to say, uh, the Wisconsin National Life Building might be the prettiest, which makes me kind of feel like I'm cheating on the library. In 2017, this whole neighborhood here was designated a historic neighborhood. It was the uh, Washington Avenue Neoclassical Historic Neighborhood. This is where you see all the, these great examples of neoclassical uh, revivalism from like kind of the turn of the century in the National Life Insurance Building, the Masonic Temple, and the library. So hey, I learned something. If you like these videos, want to keep seeing them, hit like, hit subscribe, comment uh, down below wherever you're viewing this. And with that, I'll see you later.